Back in April 2015, this last spring, we were invited to Semos 98, uh, 17th edition of their festival, and uh, among uh, other maybe 12 people or 10 people, a bunch of uh, girls and guys, we were asked the mission of building from scratch a board game or a game. We only were given the title. It was going to be called Common Spawn. Yeah, and when we were researching about what was behind Monopoly and what was the history of the game, we found out that the origins were a game designed by an American woman in 1904 called the Landlord's Game. Its purpose back in the beginning was actually to show the kids uh, that accumulation was in the end not that good for the community. So we kind of tried to make a tribute to that origins of the Monopoly that then developed in the monopoly that we all have in, in our houses and uh, well finally got this board which is a hack of the monopoly you can print it at home you can actually play it on top of the monopolies we all have in our houses and uh, it's not about accumulation but sharing and common issues and well reflecting and urban, environmental, caring commons. I feel that uh, presenting this, this game uh, within the context of the idea camp was a really super good idea because it's kind of a simulation of what's happening out there uh, within the trolleys. So, out there you have people presenting their ideas and it's, it's, it's all about uh, discussing their ideas with other people, getting some feedback and uh, working all together to make something uh, even more powerful uh, that, than what they started with uh, in the beginning. So in the context of the game you get like people coming here um, feeling that they have a role to play because each player has it, its own character and uh, in the end, in order to uh, empower the whole uh, feeling and the whole procedure, you have to collaborate, you have to exchange ideas, you have to discuss. So, uh, and all, it revolves around uh, the concepts of the commons, uh, as happens uh, out there in the arena. When, when one plays a game, there's always the strategy you make in your own mind, and it's indeed secret, so you don't want the other player to know what kind of tactic you are playing. And here, uh, the, on the thing you don't know is the circumstances, the situation that will come, but you're sharing the technique, the, 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 you are trying to, your strategy, you build it together, and that, I think, reflects um, the difference between the idea that one is an idea maker and one is our owner of one idea instead of that an idea is developed through our connection with others. What the game leaves as a, um, as a feeling is that um, you can really have uh, a re real powerful moment with uh, your, the other players. You can really enjoy all together and feel well about it. You can bond and uh, after the game, you can, you know, you, you, you feel excited. Everybody feels excited. And this is a situation which uh, empowers you to, you know, to feel optimistic about things. Mm -hmm.